In this screencast, I wanted to show you how you can use the equations here that I provide in the project description to calculate the distance between two points. Now, there's a, it looks pretty complicated, but it's really not too bad. We just have a lot of uh, trigonometric functions like cosine and sine, and we're using pi a lot. And the easiest way is to define these three parameters, a, b, and c, using these three equations. And then the distance in miles, so this is going to be in miles, can be uh, calculated using this formula down here for d, is the arc cosine of a plus b plus c times the radius of the Earth. Depending upon what units you use, I know we have uh, learners from all around the world, you can use either 3960 miles for the radius of the Earth or about 6370 kilometers. So that's a decision that you can make. I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel, and then I'll show you how to do this in VBA. Just to make things easier, I'm going to name these different values. So I'm going to name this lat1, lat underscore 1. I'm going to name gnome latitude lat underscore 2, the longitude of Anchorage, lawn 1, and the longitude of gnome, lawn 2. So we have lawn 1, lawn 2, lat 1, lat 2. A, I'm just going to use this formula here. So this is going to be a pretty uh, complex formula, but hang with me. I'm going to type it out, and then I will resume. So we have the first term, cosine lat 1 times pi over 180 times the second term, cosine of lat 2, times pi over 180, times the third term, cosine of ln 1, times pi over 180. Finally, times the fourth term, cosine of ln 2, times pi over 180. And when I press enter, that gives us this value A. The value B here is nearly identical. The only difference is I'm changing around a couple of these values, so I'm just going to copy and paste, and then I'm going to edit these values. So I modified that, cosine, sine, cosine, sine, we have lat1, ln1, lat2, ln2, and I press enter, and that's this value b. And finally, I put the formula for c, that's the sine of lat1 times pi over 180 times the sine of lat2 times pi over 180. So that's my value of c. And now I'm going to use this uh, with my radius of the earth. I'm going to call this just rad. And let's calculate the distance. First, I'm going to name these A, B, and C. So I'm just going to go up there and create from selection. And we have C underscore here because you can't name things C because C is reserved for columns in Excel. But the distance here is going to equal A cosine times A plus B plus C underscore times R, A, D. That's the radius. So that means then that Nome and Anchorage are approximately 536 miles from each other. Now I'm going to create a distance subroutine here. You should not be creating a subroutine, you should be creating a function, but you can easily adapt this into a function. I've dimmed all my variables. You're going to be using lat1, lat2, ln1, ln2 as arguments in your function, so you'll have a function of four different arguments, but I'm just defining them in this subroutine. I've defined what the radius of the Earth is, and then I've just uh, transferred those values for latitude and longitude <coughs> for the two cities into this subroutine. You're not going to be doing this. Again, you're going to be passing it through the function. You're going to be looking those up on the table using some information that I gave you in the previous screencasts. I've transferred, I've just copied and pasted the formulas. We're going to have to do a couple of, uh, of things here. Uh, first of all, there is no pi in VBA, so all these pi's I'm going to have to replace with something. So I'm going to dim pi as a double, and I'm just going to say pi is equal to worksheet function pi. So I've replaced all the pi in parentheses with just pi. Another thing, all these underscores I'm going to have to remove. So I've eliminated all those. There's a cosine and sine function in VBA, so all of that should work. And I've just uh, copied the D equation here, instead of underscore, it's just going to be C. I've got radius. Now, there's a big difference here because there is no A cosine function in VBA. So to bypass that, we can add in the worksheet function arc cosine. We can use Excel's function there. So the D will calculate the distance. And then I'm displaying this, the distance between Anchorage and Nome. 
is we're going to format the number to the just to the ones place and miles. So let's go ahead and just step through this. Press F8. I might have a couple of things I forgot to do, but we set the latitudes and longitudes. We calculate A, B. So let's make sure that those are the same values I got on the spreadsheet. 0 0.174, 0 0.026, and 0.79. For C, looks like those are good. And then we calculate D, the distance. So the distance looks like it's about 536 miles, which seems right. And I press F8, and we display that, rounded to the ones place. So that's how you can implement this function, this formula, into your Geography Toolbox project. So you can just do this calculation, and that is how you can determine the distance between two points using lat and long. Thanks for watching.